hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Bukola in today's video I'll be showing you how to make a hair pomade with Adi <laughs> Adi is palm kernel oil for ages people from West Africa have been using Adi in their beauty routines it contains a lot of beneficial properties like anti-aging properties healing and antioxidant properties it softens the skin and also aids a growth and helps to fight dandruff it is also used on newborns to prevent itchy skin eczema it really softens the skin adi or palm kernel oil in english is different from palm oil palm oil is extracted from the pulp of the palm kernel fruit while palm kernel oil is extracted from the seed of the palm kernel palm kernel oil contains lots of nutrients that aid in hair growth it contains nutrients that help prevent hair loss so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a simple hair pomade with palm kernel oil so i'm gonna start by measuring out my ingredients so i'm weighing about 30 grams of shea butter shea butter contains a lot of properties that help in moisturizing and softening the hair it's very very good for the hair it promotes egg growth as well it contains moisturizing properties so after weighing my shea butter i will be adding our hero ingredient which is adi palm kernel oil this oil has a very very strong smell a strong scent and i'll be advising you to use a fragrance oil or essential oil when using it because the smell <laughs> is so strong so i'll be weighing about 30 grams of adi palm kernel oil so another ingredient i'm adding to this recipe is castor oil castor oil is one of my favorite oils and i'll be adding like 10 grams of castor oil it also contains a lot of beneficial properties for the hair it's very good for the hair so the next ingredient i'm adding is cocoa butter and i'll be adding like eight grams of cocoa butter cocoa butter is a very good emollient it uh, it helps prevent water loss and it nourishes the hair as well the next ingredient is beeswax you can definitely substitute this with any vegan wax like candelina wax beeswax contains moisturizing antioxidants and antibacterial properties it's going to help add texture to this product beeswax is going to help smooth the hair and also help lo uh, lock in moisture i'll be adding about 20 grams of beeswax into this mixture So the next step now is melting the mixture by using the double boiler method but I'm going to cover it with a cling film because I don't want water entering my mixture uh, while I melt it so that's why I cover it with a cling film so you can do this as well this is optional it's not compulsory okay so I'm just going to put it in water and melt it using the double boiler method so while i wait for my mixture to melt i'm going to measure my second phase ingredients i'll be weighing about one gram of tocopherol which is vitamin e since this is an um, anhydrous product that means a product that doesn't contain water i won't be ha needing a birth spectrum preservative but just tocopherol which is an antioxidant that will prevent the product from going rancid 
after that i'll be adding essential oils like peppermint oil rosemary tea tree and lavender oils i'll be leaving detailed measurements in the description area so you can check the description area uh, for the correct measurements okay So now that my mixture has melted, I cannot add the vitamin E and essential oils right now because the mixture is still hot. I have to wait till the mixture is below 40 degrees centigrade. So I'm just going to put it in a cold water bath to cool it. So this is what the mixture looks like um, after some minutes. I'm just going to use my thermometer to check the temperature and see if it is below 40 degrees centigrade. So now that it's been confirmed, I can now add my second phase ingredients. I can add my vitamin E oil, which I said earlier, that uh, prevents the product from going rancid and add my essential oils. And these essential oils are also very good for the hair and the scalp. They contain alien properties that contain antioxidants and antibacterial properties and they also help promote hair growth So now is the time to add the mixture in any container of your choice. So I'm just weighing it to know the amount of product I'm adding into the container. So after putting the product in the container, I'm just going to leave it for some minutes to set. Um, it's going to take some time for it to set, but you can put it in the fridge for one to two minutes or even three minutes, you know, to set. And that's it for this video, guys. Try out your own recipe and you can send it to me on Instagram. <laughs> You can follow me on Instagram as well, Bukalaori. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so, so much. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>